hi guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are doing a rather quick simple natural valentine's day look not your average valentine's day look but this is a look i was able to achieve so if you want to see how i got this face the products i use and included today will be the outfit and makeup yeah so if you want to see how i got this look make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys Okay, let's start off with some of this Glam Light Eyeshadow Primer in Mocha. Y'all, I was recording. I had an eye look. I put completely wiped it off. It looked horrible. <laughs> it looked horrible. I don't know. That wasn't it. That was so not it. Let's put this on the lid. Let's try it again. Take two. I was like, oh, no. Mm -mm. You know how you start an eye look and you can't even... Get it to work no kind of way. That was one of those looks. So yeah, today's look is a Valentine's Day look. But not your average or typical reds, pinks, girly like colors. This is my definition of a Valentine look. Of course, I'll come back and give y'all the red and the pink look. But today, we're going for a non-traditional Valentine's Day look. And pat it in just to make sure the lid is covered any discoloration all of that good stuff we want to cover it up as well as making sure that our eyeshadows has a fighting chance of sticking down all right all right what are you focusing on focus on me I'm going to take this Jade Palette by Beauty Bay. I'll hold it up in a minute. I told you, my nose right now. Hmm. I think we're just going to do brown smoky because, baby, the one I just tried to do, it did not go as planned. So now I'm back to my comfort zone <laughs> I gotta go to my comfort zone I need a transition color though I might have to use I might have to use my Jaclyn Hill volume 1 palette y'all know I always keep that right on the side of me that has all the transition colors I love so I'm going to take mocha and I'll use that as my transition color first Let's see, putting that right directly in the crease. Just want a slight color, not a lot. Y'all got plans for Valentine's Day? My birthday is the day after, so that day has always been very special to me. Matter of fact, the whole month has been special to me. Black History Month, Valentine's Day, plus my birthday, plus President's Day, a holiday from work. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> That is all me right there. <laughs> all me. And just for, yeah. Oh, this is so much better. So much better than before. And let's just say before, the look did nothing for me. At all. Not a thing. Okay, circular motions blending upwards. Make sure that color is on there as much as we can get it on there. Don't worry about making sure everything is like together. Oh, I didn't even, I got to clean up my pile too. I got a head concealer under there. Okay. Then. Oh, why? why do I want to pick up this So J palette so bad? I probably don't even need it. I think I'm just going to use my Jaclyn Hill palette. That'll be... I'll keep it shut up. No. Okay. I'm going to take the black shade Turbaline. 
tourmaline yeah, right there the jade palette by beauty bay take the black shade out of v and then i'm gonna take this kind of rose gold shade starry eyed and that's gonna be the lid shade i have to come back on a different day at a different time to try that whatever i just tried just now with y'all pack the black once you see the outfit, then you'll know why I want it black so bad. I just had to have black. Make sure I get in that outer V real good. Okay, so this is this should be a like a simple eye for my girls out there for a first time or Valentine getting ready with me and all that good stuff. And it's a simple thing. So y'all know when I do these type of shades. I'm almost comfortable shades. <laughs> my most comfortable shades. Long top. Oh, I didn't even realize it was that late. I don't think like makeup should take like an hour or two hours. Like I think the most makeup should take is probably like 40 minutes for you to do your makeup. Drop down and let me know how long it takes you to do your makeup. And now when I say 40 minutes, I'm talking about a full glam with the cut crease and all of that. Like I don't feel like makeup should take that long of hours for you to do it. Then go back with your black, nothing else on the brush. But just making sure the two shadows are together. Kind of like in a C shape, if you will, or like a backwards V. We're good. I totally forgot I had this one size secure the sweat primer in my stash. Let's go ahead and use that today for the sake of, because I forgot I had it. Just a little bit. I'm like, huh? But it was in the primer box, but that goes to show you that I never go in my primer box. Because I'm so good with just using my cookies and dream. I figure... If you're an Aldi girl like myself, and if you're going to hang out for a while for Valentine's Day, then I probably will use this type of primer. So then make sure that your makeup, really make sure that your makeup doesn't move or go anywhere at all. Make sure it's like really in there and tacky, which it is. Okay, I'm going to color correct. I feel like you can color correct if you're going out, do your thing, whatever, whatever. But I'm going to use this Juvia Place Lipsticks and Soil by the Nubian Earth Collection. I never use it as a, a lipstick, so we're going to color correct with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I know me and my bright ideas now. And once I get the bright idea in my head, that be it. And blend it out. I was another item I was going through my stash and I saw it. I'm like, well, oh, I never really used it as a lipstick. So quite sure it wouldn't hurt the color correct with it. We got to see today. Hopefully it don't turn my makeup orange. I'm quite sure I use too much. I know I use too much. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. <laughs> Not. I think I use too much. No, you know you use too much. Okay. I'm going to take my Very Valentino in DA3. Haven't picked this up in a very lovely minute. So why not? Plus, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not going to place. I just felt like doing makeup with you all. Yeah, I'm not going to wear. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and dot that in there. This is the one foundation, one of the foundations I don't have to mix or with color corrector or with anything else. The color is exactly what it needs to be for me. It just has that perfume smell in the beginning. Like I get that this is a luxury brand and you want it to smell luxurious, but I think perfume scents and Facial products is so not needed. Whatever's left for head area, don't put nothing up there. We're just gonna, whatever's left. I've been on a cleanse with just fruits and vegetables. So I feel like my skin is purging all the toxins and stuff that have been in my body so it's for 21 days and i have eight more days left it was a struggle at first but it was a real struggle at first but it's like three o'clock now and I haven't eaten yet. I can't say that I'm extremely hungry, but I do know I need to eat something like an apple, banana, something, but yeah. Okay, so this is how it's looking. We're looking real neutral, mm -hmm. looking real neutral. So, you know, once we get the eyeshadow, I mean not the eyeshadow, the concealer, we all need to brighten this up. Y'all know I like to be neutral. I'm trying to think. I think this is more like a natural foundation. Y'all know I try to like balance everything where it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and take Cookie by Too Faced in a multi scope concealer. Let's go ahead and take that. Because this is real yellow. I'm just looking for something that was really yellow. Mama, get it off your nose. Yeah, it's coming along. <laughs> Not the initial look that I envisioned in my head, but everything is flowing. Oh, y'all see my rings I got from Timu? I think, yeah. Like a pack of 100 for like $6. Mm -hmm. I'm about to take the other side of this orange your day. Let's just keep going until we can see what the final look is going to be. Will I scrap this look or can I make it work? Keep on watching. You see the results. <laughs> I feel like an episode or some type of series. Just keep on watching. 
to see if Nanaka Peace the Lord. <laughs> Nanaka Peace, oh, then all of them are of Okay, KBD. I don't need no more color. I got enough highlight going on over here. KBD loose setting powder. Lock it. I always say KBD, but it's called lock it. Lock it powder. I'm trying to hurry up because a different world. It's a marathon of a different world. And I have never seen it ever. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to go watch it. <laughs> I meant to add some blush before I did that. The Rare Beauty in, I think this would be Virtue. No, Love. Rare Beauty. I probably could have used this right here though. The color correct, huh? It was just my imagination Once again Putting away me It was just my imagination Running away from me Every night Oh, why did that song pop up in my head? Oh, why did that song pop up in my head? Please tell me. Okay, let that sit for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, while we're waiting on eyelash to get tacky, let's go ahead with our NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Enrich to bronze up the face. Add some definition or whatever we're going to add to it. We need to sculpt the face, especially for Valentine's. I like that Rare Beauty blush. It's simple. It's not a lot. All right, let me put on lashes, be back. Okay, now time to dust away. I don't think I'm gonna set this powder. I mean, this foundation. I think the setting spray, my NYX Bear With Me, will do enough for this. Definitely got to get rid of the powder look. So we ain't want to look powdery. <laughs> I'm going to take this LA Girl Lip Liner in Chai Latte to line the lips with. It's coming up. Maybe not.
Yeah, no, I want a little darker. My Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. I'm looking. And I'm not going to stop until I find that brown kind of lip liner that I'm looking for. It's a certain type. I just want a glossy lip. This is the shade Mocha. The Jaclyn Hill Volume 1. I really didn't want it to be dark, but I want it like a really, where you actually see the brown. And I always like overdrawing it a little. Then I'm going to take this Morphe Sweetest Tea Lip Plumper. Oh, what's it called? Make it big on the outside. This is the brown, say? this is the brown lip liner that I'm looking for. Okay, if you notice, we still haven't filled in the center of the lip. Uh, I need a matte something because we already got a gloss going on. So I need something matte. Take this number six Ruby Kisses Velvet Lip Cream. It's matte enough because we just want a little bit. Okay, guys, we have made it black, black. Yeah, we are black, but we have made it back with the completed Valentine's Day look. So, on the screen right now, I'm just showing you the boots I paired it with. I have this dress, sweater dress. It's in a size of medium. I purchased from Fashion Nova probably about a month or so ago. And some black boots from Nine West that I have had for probably like 10 or so years. Paired with one of my purses. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep the black strap on or switch it out and put the gold uh, strap on. Drop down and let me know what you think I should put on there but overall this to me is a date night slash valentine's day look the face is simple the dress is simple everything is simple but it's all elegant and jazzy at the same time if that makes sense so yeah guys you saw the outfit let me know your thoughts on the outfit and if you enjoyed this look or drop down and let me know give me a color that you want me to do a Valentine's Day look with and then we can do that I feel like I feel so <laughs> that's how I feel I feel like that <laughs> with this uh and I, I want to put it up on my shoulder so bad but it doesn't go that way like it has to be like on your um what is this called shoulders my wrist, my arm, it has to be on your arm. What is this area called right here? Mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.